वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज सुनील एंड यू आर वाचिंग ओडो स्क्रीन कास्ट फॉर द फंक्शनल यूजर्स सो इन प्रीवियस स्क्रीन कास्ट वी हैव कवर्ड द डिस्कस मॉड्यूल एंड इन दिस स्क्रीन कास्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल व्हिच यू कैन सी इन द ड्रॉप डाउन कॉल्ड कैलेंडर सो कैलेंडर इज वन ऑफ द वेरी यूजफुल मॉड्यूल व्हिच यू कैन यूज इट फॉर द स्केड्यूलिंग ऑफ योर डे and uh, this particular calendar is also integrated with the google calendar uh, in bidirectional ways for example let's say to have uh, scheduled your calendar within the odo and you would like to sync your calendar into the google calendar you would be able to sync your calendars to the google calendar or let's say you have created your calendar into the google calendar and you would like to sync it within the odo erp you would you can sync it right so this is uh, uh, and obviously if you would like to integrate into the google you have to uh, do the required configuration which we can see it in later stage uh, and uh, you will get the notification also like uh, uh, as you get the notification for your google calendars you would uh, be getting the notification there and uh, if you would like to create a calendar simply you can click on the specific place so let's say you can give your uh, um, so let's say auto training we i'm giving here and you can create so you can have the calendar here so let's say if you would like to uh, see the details of the calendar you can see this has been uh, automatically uh, scheduled on a specific date which is Jan january 19 right and the timing uh, is 10 to 10 30 right so an attendee status is accepted who is responsible obviously i have created so it shows my name here and who are the attendees here and the description right so let's say if you would like to edit it you can click on the edit option here and you can customize it let's say if you on a specific date so let's say uh, you would like to make it on uh, 26 you can click on the 26 and if you would like to also have the specific time on 26 so you can uh, select the time uh, on 26th right and uh, what would be the duration so duration all uh, you can just uh, have the duration here and if you would like to have the specific tag for this calendar so you can make the specific tag so let's say uh, this is the one tag which i want for example or let's say uh, i'm just giving the another tag so if tag is not there you can simply type it and you can press enter right so uh, this is how you can have the tag but let us understand why we need a tag so tag is very important let's say if you would like to filter based on a specific tag so this will help you filter if you have multiple calendars so what whatever the uh, uh, entry you are doing into the erp it is always advisable to use a tag and let's say if you would like to have the reminders for this calendar so you can have the reminder at least let's say uh, 30 minutes before or one hour before something like that right so let's say i want a notification one hour before or let's say another notification i want 30 minutes before and you can also uh, give a location to this uh, calendar so let's say i'm saying nest code corporate office and you would like to give a description for this uh, calendar so you can give uh, the functional user so whatever the description you would like to give based on your uh, calendar you can give the description and then if you go to the next option uh, if you would like to make this calendar uh, recurrent uh, this will have uh, you know on a specific interval right and then uh, there is a privacy section so this privacy section is very important usually uh, within the company until unless uh, it's a generic calendar no one prefers to make the calendar available for everyone so make sure uh, when you are creating a calendar you are selecting the privacy based on your requirement so let's say if you want this uh, calendar to be available only for yourself 
so you can make it only me and then if you want uh, to be available busy within that particular time and date so you can make it busy here and obviously you can save it so this is one way uh, uh, which it, it disappeared from here because I have scheduled on 25th sorry 26th so if you go to the month and you can click on the 26th you can see here right uh, now there is another way of creating a calendar also so for example let's say if you would like to create a calendar so simply click here and instead of giving a summary you can directly click on edit so that you have you will have all the features which we have discussed just a second back uh, in first sort itself so uh, and I usually used to prefer this uh, you know because this is very handy and I can also add the attendees also from the list right and I can also uh, select the privacy based on my requirement so I would suggest you know use this uh, option of creating a calendar and inviting the other and like we discussed uh, you ha you'll have the notification uh, on your email based on like the frequency of notification you have selected during the calendar creation and next to this there are uh, another option you have here so this is the calendar mode which you have now if you would like to click on the list views you will have the list view here with the all calendars right so if you would like to see all the calendars here you can see all the calendars just now we have created a calendar called Odo training which is on 26th and it is 26 attendees like one attendees are there location duration everything is there right so this is how you can see the calendar all the calendar at one place now uh, like other modules there are filters you can filter uh, the calendars based on uh, your meeting uh, you can also have uh, the custom filter based on uh, active day, all day applicant, applicant, attendees or there are a lot of options are there. So all these options you can use it if you have uh, multiple calendars or if, or if you are a part of multiple uh, team calendars. And uh, next is the favorite which you can use it to add it as a favorite, right? Thank you so much once again for watching this screencast which uh, was for the calendar module. See you in the next screencast.